We're here in the nave of Gloucester Cathedral, this wonderful space for prayer and for worship and for gathering. It's relatively quiet this afternoon, but sometimes it's very busy and full of people. And one such occasion was when we hosted the Museum of the Moon, the wonderful installation by Luke Jerram. It was brilliant to see people coming into this nave and catching sight of the moon for the first time, seven meters in diameter, being able to look at that extraordinary sight. And lovely to see people lying on the floor of this nave, moon bathing, looking at the moon and thinking about their place in the universe. That was followed a little while later by Gaia, the Earth, also hanging from the roof of this nave, also seven meters in diameter. Another sight to inspire and to challenge us to think about our relationship with creation. And it was wonderful to see the Earth in its fullness and its entirety. And in 1972, with the Apollo 17 mission, we could for the first time see images of the Earth in its entirety. And yet those images also emphasise the vulnerability of the Earth, a small blue marble hanging in the universe. We're in the season of Lent, and Lent, of course, has an individual aspect to it, as each one of us turns back to God, that process of repentance. But Lent also has a very profoundly communal aspect as well. In Lent, as well as turning back to God, retuning our hearts to God's, we also turn to one another and we turn to creation. Sometimes we think that our redemption is despite creation, but our redemption can only ever be with creation. So as we walk through Lent, let us think about how we can turn back to God individually, but also how we can turn to one another to take care of one, one another better and to take care of this precious planet that God loves so much. And now a prayer. May God who established the dance of creation, who transforms chaos to order, lead us and empower us to transform our lives, the witness of the church and the government of nations, so that all might preserve and reflect the glory of God revealed in creation. Amen.